Hi there. Want me to help you with some stuff that bothers you? Sure you do. How's your energy levels? Not what they used to be? How's your hormones? Messed up or just plain gone? <laughs> Are you losing hair and gaining weight? Is your skin itchy and shriveling up as we speak? You know, people are focusing on and prioritizing the wrong body part and ignoring the most important body part. The body part that almost everybody focuses on and prioritizes, no matter what diet they're on, including raw vegans, is usually the taste buds, right? And the body part they should be prioritizing and focusing on is unfortunately the most boring and unglamorous part of the body. The liver. Dun, 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 dun. Cleaning your liver is one of the most important things you could ever do for your health. Overweight, clean your liver. Tired, low energy, clean your liver. It's your, your filter is clogged. And no, milk thistle is not the answer. The liver does so many things. In fact, it outperforms like hundreds, if not thousands of functions. And two of the big ones are, of course, it's your body's filter. And number two, it's where your energy comes from. Your body runs on two kinds of fuel, glucose, a type of sugar, and ketones, which is fat. The liver makes glucose from carbs, amino acids, and fats, and starches. You know, the stuff you eat, just think of glucose as pure energy. It's what your brain runs on. Most people eat too much, so the excess glucose is stored as glycogen in your liver and your cells, and then it's converted back to glucose when needed. The liver also converts some proteins and sugars into fats and stored in the body as an additional fuel source. Okay, so your liver is also your body's filter. It protects you from chemicals, poisons, toxins, bad food, all the preservatives and pesticides and chemicals and crap that ends up in your food. It's where alcohol, smoke, heavy metals, plastic fumes, drugs, painkillers, bacteria, all that stuff accumulates in your liver. It's the biggest organ inside the body and it's been filling up with toxic garbage since the day you were born. So when was the last time you cleaned your liver? And you wonder why you're so tired all the time. Aside from filtering everything you eat, the liver also breaks down some substances produced in the body that can be harmful in excess, including cholesterol, hormones, aldosterone, norepinephrine, and insulin. It breaks down excess levels of estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. It binds them with other substances to assist in their excretion from the kidneys. But it also creates hormones when needed. So in other words, if you have too many hormones, it gets rid of them, and it creates hormones if you need them, and that's good. And the same thing with cholesterol. When you have too much, it gets rid of it. And if you need some, it, uh, it makes it because you need cholesterol for hormone production and vitamin D. So if you're middle-aged and your hormones are messed up, your liver is probably messed up. Uh, it manufactures and stores vitamins like A, B12, yes, B12, D, E, K, amino acids, which become protein in your body. It stores iron. It makes steroid and sex hormones. It makes blood clotting elements. It creates digestive fluids to digest your food. It breaks down fat by creating bile, which is stored in the gallbladder. It removes excess cholesterol, like I said, and harmful fats. It kills bacteria and viruses. It produces interferon, a very powerful germ killer. It produces the most of the body's lymph fluid, which has germ-killing lymphocytes and white blood cells. You know, there's four times more lymph fluid in your body than there is blood. It also produces growth hormones like IGF, insulin growth factor, which builds muscle and keeps you young and maintains proper blood sugar levels. Ever since I did that, um, the almond raw one meal a day video, remember that? Everybody started talking about autophagy after that, the, the recycling of old cells. Well, guess what does that? The liver, the glamorous liver. Okay, so the path from food to blood is, is stomach, intestine, portal vein, liver, blood. That's the path. And disease is a sign that your liver is overloaded and cleaning your liver can not only save your life, but make you look 10 years younger. So those of you who don't care about cleanliness, you just care about superficial how you look, there you go. Cleaning your liver makes you look 10 years younger. Signs that your liver is inflamed and toxic are, well, your, your stomach is sticking out, but the rest of you is skinny. You know, these people that have skinny legs and arms with their stomachs out to here? Well, there you, that, that's a liver issue. Uh, you're tired a lot. <clears throat> you're run down a lot. Your, your memory problems, your foggy brain, you're depressed, you're easily stressed and irritated, you're edgy, you get angry a lot, PMS, hot flashes, night sweats, low sex drive, thyroid issues. Skin problems, like itchy skin, you know, rashes, uh, spots, eczema, psoriasis, nausea, especially after eating. Uh, you sweat a lot, hormone imbalances, fibroids, cysts, fibromyalgia, you know, all those female issues. Your skin is yellow, your eyes turn yellow. Um, losing hair, headaches, varicose veins, high cholesterol, muscle weakness, 
I guess the final stage is pancreatic cancer, and a, and a sign of that is that you, you're like extremely tired all the time, um, which is not good. And I guess the final stage, uh, well, and then what else? You've got sleep difficulties, you wake up in the middle of the night, you've got heart issues, low energy is a sign of hypothyroidism, uh, hypertension, diabetes, you crave sweets, carbs, and sodas, you know, all that stuff you love, alcohol, you bruise easily. Allergies and food allergies, you know, people say, I can't make your recipes because I'm allergic to this or this or this. Well, clean your liver. Most food allergies is a sign of a dirty liver. And that's from like all the medic medications and crap that you've been taking all these years. Clean your liver, get rid of the food allergies, weight issues. And of course, finally, eventually, the final stage of liver issues is death. So I, I, I would, good reason to clean your liver. The answer is simply not just what do I take, Milk thistle is definitely not the answer. And it's, it, it, the main step is to stop doing the things that messed up your poor liver in the first place. Alcohol, fast food, fried food, preservative, cooking oils, prescription pills, painkillers like acetaminophen, antidepressants, tranquilizers, antibiotics, and antihistamines. You know, Claritin causes liver tumors. Metal tooth fillings, you know, the mercury. Uh, uh, Drinking out of plastic water bottles, that's a, that's a really bad estrogenic. Oh, city water is filled with chlorine, fluoride, and, and heavy metals. Too much calcium. People take calcium pills. Stop it. You got more than enough calcium in your body. Uh, plastic food wrap, that's an estrogenic. Um, a low fiber diet. Listen up, carnivores. Uh, speaking of eating meat, grass fed or not, cows naturally have hormones that make them grow to be 2,000 pound animals, and those hormones are not meant for humans. Do you know what they pump those cows full of to make them grow faster so they can make money faster? Estrogen. Estrogen makes you fat and makes you gain weight like crazy. And that's what they have to give dairy cows to keep them pregnant all the time so they can keep making milk because you have to be pregnant to make milk. And so they constantly pump dairy cows full of estrogen to trick their bodies into thinking they're pregnant. And I hate to say this, but Next to sugar, dairy is one of the biggest accelerators of cancer. Estrogen feeds it like crazy. Eating lots of meat creates also high levels of ammonia, which creates hepatic encephalopathy. And a lot of keto food, for example, you know, keto is so clean, right? Like, well, if you're eating keto food that tastes really good, it's a good chance it contains maltodextrin. It's a synthesized sugar that has a higher glycemic index than sugar, which creates fatty liver and makes you fat. And they don't even have to legally say that on the label most of the time. So if your keto snacks taste really good, you probably got maltodextrin in it, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of doing keto in the first place. And by the way, liver tests do not show liver function. They are simply enzyme tests that look for excess levels of certain enzymes that are released when your liver is messed up, but it doesn't give you the full picture. Uh, sorry, but there, there's, there's no quick fix. I mean, there is no way of cheating yourself out of this one. You can't keep eating the crap that you're eating and then simply take some magic stuff like milk thistle to heal your liver. You know why milk thistle's not in my liver formula? Everybody says, milk thistle, milk thistle, milk thistle. It helps protect your liver cells. Yes, it protects your liver cells by coating them. It's like kind of like wrapping your liver in saran wrap. So nothing gets in or out. It's protected, but nothing gets in or out. Yeah. But you need things to go in or out because you need flow. Stuff needs to flow like a river. Things need to keep moving to work right, right? You don't want to stop the flow. You want to encourage it. So if you want herbs to help clean your liver, then go read the ingredients in my liver formula, MarcusLiverFormula.com, I think, and read what they do and why they're in there and what they do for you. But more than anything else, it's not what you take. It's Stop doing the things that are bad for you and start doing the right things, eating the right foods. There is no other way. I mean, do you want to live or not? Do you, do, do you want to lose weight? Do you want to fix your hormones? Do you want your energy back? you want to live a long, healthy, happy life or not? Then roll up your sleeves and do what needs to be done. No excuses. You should also read my liver ebook at marcusebooks.com so you can learn more about this stuff because education is key to controlling your life and being on board and having everything that you, you know, knowing what's going on and why. So read the liver ebook at marcusebooks.com. There are no shortcuts. Your body was designed to function a certain way. So take care of it, keep it clean, fuel it properly, and you will be light years ahead of everyone else. Find out what it's like to be really alive, to be truly, truly alive. I'll see you in the next video.